I can make this. So I'll just jump once, jump twice. Oh, that was it. There we go. Ooh, something's up there. I wonder if the squirrels ever steal undies. Hey, little girl. I'm a legal adult. Oh, sorry. Who are you? Liz, I used to live here. Where? This building right here, before you were born. Why did you move away? Went to school, wandered off, I guess. You like it better where you live now? Yeah, it's nice. Blossom Springs is nice too. I think it's alright. It's alright. Yeah, pretty alright. When I was a girl, about your... I'm 20. Height. I used to lay awake at night. Worried that statue would come to life. Climb in my window. Oh jeez, that's spooky. You never want someone hanging around outside your window. Not magical evil statues, at least. Yeah, nothing evil or magic should should get that close. I live in the attic. No way. No one can get to my window. That's good. Not even vampires or warlocks or skeleton men. I'm glad we had this talk. Me too. See you. It's a good point. Oh, I missed that jump. Having the attic window. Having the attic for a room with the attic window. If something's clearly clanking outside that, that's like, nope. I ain't prepared for this kind of anarchy. Me thinks I spy a tunnel shark. Scary monster in the dark. Holy crap. I didn't really see it. Please don't listen. Oh, she's not there today. Ooh, who's this guy? Whoa, hi down there. Ahoy there, Mae. <laughs> Is that Mr. Selvi? What are you doing in a boat? In the tunnel. In the late afternoon. What are you doing home from school? You answer first. It's my side hustle. Selvi Salvage. What's that? I'm a junk man, May. Are you not mowing lawns anymore? Oh no, I'm still doing the landscaping. But I'm also a purveyor of fine goods. For the discerning antique... Um, antique. <clears throat> For the discerning antique enthusiasts. Okay, side hustle, yeah. You wanna come along? Boat right back into the tunnel. Gonna be a short trip today, but... Might be fun. Mm, sure. Uh... It probably is <clears throat> excuse me, it probably isn't smart. It's pretty safe. I just need a second pair of hands. Usually I take one of the other kids over there. Hey teens, I'm going on this boat now. Just saying, like if anyone should ask. I got on this boat with Mr. Selby here. Okay, thanks. What was Okay, let's go. And lots of folks from somewhere else drive past between Fort Lucene and Willow Grove. And they like going to antique shops out here. I think I think they I think they think it's exclusive or something. And that's the side hustle. Wow. Do they know it's garbage? It's not garbage. Sorry. Here, we're coming up on one now. You'll see. This is garbage. It's an island of garbage. Your garbage is my priceless antique. But it's cleaned up a bit. Look around, find something. Is this thing safe to walk on? Oh yeah, years of sediment and rocks and junk. <laughs> you call it junk too. 
Find anything good? Nah. Oh wow, it's the thing. A sled, really bad boat. Maybe you like sleep in it. Tiny garbage hammock. Could I take this garbage bed? Oh yeah, let me a mystery garbage object. Huh, big axe. Do I want a big garbage axe? Instead of this other thing? Hmm. So I can take the axe or I can take the sleigh. Uh, looks like a tennis racket thing. I'll go with the axe. It's so big and axy. Find anything good? Eh, kill the garbage axe. Oh, nice. Looks like an old fire axe from somewhere. Axe murder garage axe. Yeah, you could conceivably murder someone with this. Have to sharpen it first. Oh, I'll sharpen it. Planning on murdering someone? I keep my options open. Oh dear. And someone he'd run over his own foot. Somehow. No. With the mower. Oh. Yeah, he's got a limp now. But he still comes to work. He's... Gotta work. Oof. Okay, so remember how I said I needed a second pair of hands? Oh yeah, that was... This, what was that about? So there's a little panel back where you are. Gonna need you to use it and move this light up here. Are we... Wait, why? We got bats down here. So... I don't like bats. But bats like bugs. And bugs like light. So you're gonna shine that light all around them and get them to scatter? Looking for bugs. They mostly go away for a while when they scatter. Well, okay. Now get ready, we're coming up on a place they like to cluster together. Okay, got it. Here we go, up above me. There we go, wow. Did most of them leave? I think so. There were a lot of them. Ugh, I hate them. But bats are cute. They are not. Can I take a bat home? Ain't no bat getting on my boat. Sooner swim back than have a goddamn bat in my boat. Okay, 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 no bats. No bats. Alright, we're coming up on another island. Garbage ho! You wanna look around? No, I'm gonna hang out on the boat. Of course I'm gonna look around. <laughs> you're sarcastic like your dad. Do you still talk to my dad? Oh yeah, I get my meats from him once a week. Last fall, us and some of the boys from the factory days went up to, to Stutter's old hunting camp. You get anything? Uh, Ed... Ed Grass got a six-point buck. Nice. Alright, let's go. We got a schedule to keep. Oop, what's this? Oh my god. It's a coconut monkey. Like the one granddad bought back from Hawaii. Do I want this coconut friend? Yes, um. Nah. Yeah. Welcome to the family, Mr. Monkey. I love you so much and we've just met. Holy shit. Dracula teeth. This is so rad I could totally be a Dracula. All of the false teeth in the world. Dracula teeth are the best. Should I take these excellent Dracula teeth? Instead of my dear friend Coconut Monkey? Hmm. 
Blah. No. We'll say... N yeah, let's do no. I can get new ones for like a buck. Over at the Hand Panther. I don't know if vintage Dracula teeth are that much of a find. Find anything good? Coconut monkey. Oh wow. Is it still good? Eh, he's a little soft. And he smells like trash water. But when he's all dried out, he's going to be a regular member of the family. Huh, alright. You're not going to steal him from your shop or anything, right? Uh, no. Not even tempted? I think I can let this one go, man. And that's how I saved the longest night. <laughs> wow. Did you ever tell your kids? What? No. It spoiled the magic. But did they ever notice your next car? If they did, they never said nothing. Did the cops ever catch the guy? Oh no, he's still out there. But he ain't coming back anytime soon. Wow, great story. Alright, we're coming up on another bat nest. Bats have nests. Whatever, get the light ready. Shine it up there and get rid of them. Aye aye, sir. Here they come. Wow. Did most of them leave? I think so. I got him good. Phew. Thanks, kid. I'm 20. <laughs> well, at my age, that's plenty kid enough. Rude. Coming up on another island. How many of these are down here? Oh, I ain't counted. See to find new ones. Seem to find new ones all the time. And lose old ones. Spooky. We're pretty far back now. It's always a bit spooky. Whoa, old trolley car over there. Yeah, we're getting close to where the flood really hit hardest. I can't imagine this place still up and running. It was quite something. I had a sense of going somewhere. Yeah. Why back when... Why back when they got these new trolley cars? They were designed by some company overseas. Big and fancy. Like fancy or something. They are pretty. Yeah, they still got their charms. You gonna look around? Sure. Oh, nice. Football or official religion around here. I could totally wear this. It's functional. I could totally wear this in the winter in case I slip on the ice. I could wear this if I was in a fight. Probably stop a bullet even. I don't know. Mal's inside, though. I want this thing. Let's weigh my options. It's functional, but... Mm. Uh-oh. I wonder how old this is. It's pretty soggy. What sport even is this? It's a sports mystery. The worst kind of mystery. Pretty though. I want this thing? Nah. It's gross and I don't care about sports anymore. Find anything good? Nah. Find anything good? Nah. Guess that was it. Nah. Right. I'll pick up the helmet.
Ooh, it's functional. Uh, how do I leave? Oh, talk to him. Find anything good? Football helmet. Oh, you sure you want that? Did I finally find something you want? Well, I mean, it's cool you take it. No, it's alright. It's your boat, it's your garbage. You can have it. No, that's fine, May. No, I think you should have it. No, May, you take it. Take it. I don't want it. You did why? Take it. It's yours. God damn it, you take the effing helmet. No. Oh, you go straight to hell. Are you okay? Yeah, sorry I yelled. Me too. You happy with your helmet? Yeah, it's functional. Any more bats to get rid of? Nah, they don't come back this far to sleep. They fly around a good bit back here though. Unless you clear them off before you get here. When even, when, where even are we? Almost to the far platform. Oh wow, is that where we're going? Well, though you got rid of most of the bats back there. So maybe we can make one last stop. At the big one. The big one. I thank God I wasn't drowned here when the flood hit. The river Jones, the river jumped, right? Yeah, flood was bad enough, river just up and moved. It had something to do with the reservoir too, I forget. I guess it was a while ago. Weird to think that rivers can move. Oh, they're always moving, kid. One year old. They're just usually moving in one direction. No one really, no one's really prepared for when it stops doing what it's always been doing. Hmm. All right, here we are. This is the big one. This looks like something I dreamed. Or something. It's familiar some ways. Back then they thought the trolleys would stay on the track. Come a big flood. But nah, they went right along with the water. Bopping up and down. Crashing into big piles like this. Jeez. Can't fix something like this. What you gonna do? Damn up the river. Take this whole town thing out. Nobody got that money. Nobody got that time. This is like visiting some place beyond the grave. Like, where do you go when you die? Some folks did die down here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You gonna look around? I have to say, not much back this far, usually. Most stuff washes in from side channels. Gets caught up back where we came from. Yeah, I think I'll still look around. Wait. Aha, uh -huh, two islands. Thought they could get me, would ooh. Wow. Wonder if it is still works. Should probably clean all the mud out of it first. Do I wanna take this? Yeah. Really pretty. It should have someone to appreciate it. <laughs> but we had the money. <clears throat> we had the money to lift Sacramento. <laughs> yeah. Not gonna lie, I was thinking about that too. <laughs> Wonder what this used to lock up. Really old lock. Pretty neat key. Someone bought this to keep something safe or secret. Do I want to take this? More than the muddy horn? Eh. We'll keep the muddy horn. It's just junk now. They got nothing to lock up anyways. Find anything good? Horn. Looks like a pack horn, maybe. I'm gonna clean it out. Maybe play it. 
Or at least make it make some noise. Good plan. Really pretty. Shame to leave it down here. He rescued it. I'm a hero. Let call the papers. Here we are. Wow. End of the road. <clears throat> oh, I'm in the thing. So that's it. That's the other mural. It's so... Yeah. Yeah. Basically the only thing back here that survived the flood. I just think it's nice that it's not gone. Yeah, I guess. Forgotten, maybe, but not gone. Well, not forgotten yet. I wonder if in like 500 years, some archaeologist will find it and wonder what it meant. Sometimes I think in 50 years, no one will know what it meant. Police can't control how they're... Places can't control how they're remembered. They just hang out and then fall apart. You okay, man? Yeah. I'll be fine. Get in the look for a minute. Take your time. Ooh. June bug. All the bats. We'll go back this way. We'll talk to my mom in the church. Maybe those creepy teens will be on the cliff and see if I can't sneak any more information off of uh the Ooh. Alright, talk to her. See if I can't get any information from Bruce the Bum and that lady that sits next to him. That thing changed. Oh, here we go, Bruce. Getting kind of cold, huh? Yeah, it been the air at night. I think fall when it gets cold. Lozo! Hey! How are you doing, Lozo? Welcome to the stream. Me too. Real pretty out. <clears throat> out not as well. I used to crap fall trees when I was a kid. Why? Because they were so pretty. <laughs> I did that when my daughter was born. You have a daughter? Yep. Where is she? Sorry. That's fine. <laughs> Doing fine. Glad to hear Lozo. Uh, I don't think I've met the rat babies. I... I haven't seen anything that fits that description. Yeah, the only thing... We're, I'm looking for the ghost right now. It was Halloween. I was with my two best friends. They are up above. Oh. Oh. Hey, Jen. Hey, Maybrowski. Yeah. What are you doing back here? Does Greg know you're back? Nah, just here for a day. I had to pick some stuff up from Greg's mom. All I'm back to school night tonight. Ah. Oh. Didn't you go to school? What are you doing here? Dropped out, kinda. Oh, sorry to hear that. Nah, whatever. What are you going for? I want to do fashion design. Is that a job you can get? Theoretically. You still go crossbow hunting? Greg used to have a crossbow too, I think. Yeah, I still hunt rabbits and stuff. Nothing big. 
You won't get much chance at school. I was shooting at that tree over there. Then I noticed there was a dude sleeping behind it. So I stopped. Oh yeah, that's Bruce. He's nice. Well, I'm just glad I actually... I didn't actually accidentally put a bolt in his face. Oh yeah, that'd be bad. Well, it was nice seeing you. You still see Greg sometimes? Oh yeah, all the time. Tell him that... Well, tell that cousin of mine he needs to come see me out in Bright Harbor. Sure thing. See ya. Take it easy. Jen, Greg's cousin. Let's see, so... There, up above, near the stairs you walked up to get here. Ooh, okay. I will, I will find these rat babies. And then these... There was like three little... Teens there. Trying to read my fortune. No. Reading my nightmare. And I gave them the wrong answer and they were like... That is not the right answer. Shame on you. You can see us one more time. Okay, so near the stairs. I think like at the other in the the screen before or the screen, the area before this one. Also, Jerem is around somewhere. I think at the very end of town. Yeah, yeah, like all the way left, I believe. Hanging out with some like biker guys, chain gang. Yeah, but uh, I uh, just passed Halloween. I was out. I saw like either a murder or a kidnapping, and now we're looking for the ghost. Hey, you free? Maybe. Want to go on a quick adventure? Don't you have a job? Pastor's gone, I'm gonna skip out. Oh yeah! Let's skip work. Okay, I'm skipping work on. Oh hush. I'm an accessory to the crime. Also not a crime, sweetie. Gotta jump on the power lines. Ah, oh, okay. <clears throat> I will do that. Uh, I don't think I've ever been up here. We used to come here all the time. Did we? No. We as in my friends and I when we were your age. Oh, okay. I'm not used to you using any other Wii's. Believe it or not, I've had several Wii's. Huh? This is nice. Used to be a lot more trees around here. They got cut down when they put up the towers. I don't remember that. You know all kinds of things happened before you were born. What? The minor parts of history took place, yes. So what is this place? Jenny's Field, ever heard of it? No, I don't think. Back in the 30s, there was this woman and her daughter walking here, and the woman's daughter is in front of her, and then she's just gone, like disappeared. What happened? Turns out there was a sinkhole that opened up. When a pillar collapsed in the mines in the hill. Jeez. Yep, no one could see it because of the grass. Her name was Jenny. This is Jenny's field. They never found her. Just... Boosp. Gone. So wait, why are we here? What? You're not up for a little risk taking? Just got a point. Mama didn't raise no bitch. Uh, what's wrong? I thought it was a sinkhole thing. Hmm, how about that? Hey, what is that? For some reason, before Unfield pulled out, they bought this old lime furnace up on the mountain. Why? Who knows? Unified did a lot of things. Looks like it's been here forever. It's just sunk into the ground a lot. Like Jenny. It's slower. We used to climb up up there. Wanna try? <laughs> oh, sweetie. I had you and also a lot of birthdays and donuts since then. But not much climbing. Easy. So, uh... 
Good thing this chimney is sealed up here. <laughs> yes, good thing. What can you see up there? It's been a while. Uh, awesome springs in most of the valley. Yeah. What does it look like? Uh, like someone dumped out some blocks. <laughs> the quilt. Well, that's a cozy valley. I remember I couldn't tell if, uh, tell if being up there made everything feel bigger or smaller. It's a weird feeling. Yeah, I know that one. I used to have a dream when I was your age. Where I was in the big parking lot, out by the tracks, and I'd start running, but there was always more parking lot. Hmm. What do you think it meant? I don't know. It feels weird to tell tell you what your dreams mean. Why? You're my mom. Fair. Why did we come up here today? Well, I was hoping you'd fall into a sinkhole, obviously. That didn't work out. Trap. Guess I'll just have to keep you. I couldn't see what your ex I couldn't see what your expression was when you said that. You need to. No. Well, see you at home. Hey. Yep. Oh, just completely okay. <laughs> Jenny. Okay, so let's, uh, power lines, talk to Germ, the Rat Pack. So these are the power lines. Time for Rat Babies. I maybe might have... I don't know, I don't remember Rat Babies. Oh man, I like really gotta... No, I think I have to jump up from this area. I don't remember a way to jump up. It will be on this screen or should be. Uh, let me see. I don't feel like I can... Ah, there we go. Yeah, I've, yeah, I've definitely never tried doing this. Ooh, he's new. Wait, what's this? I think these are supposed to be weather stations. Pioneer scouts made them when they weren't playing football or learning about manhood. Uh, these are the manliest of miniature windmills for sure. Hey. Hello. I'm A. Hello, ma'am. Salem. Are you a busker? Or are you busking? What's busking? I don't know. I think it's when you play outside and people give you money. Are you gonna give me money? No. And then I'm not busking. Cool. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so rat babies. No, okay. Hmm. Okay. All right. So I gotta go somewhere over here. I think. Nuke Possum Springs, eighty-seven. Gort lung. Oh, wait. This it? Oh, wow. Okay. Wow, so this is where this the stuff ended up? I remember the spring parade, it was so much fun. Until the year that Mollard people uh Blumingro snapped his his tether and ran over Chris Evans. 
Then they canceled the parade. Cowards. They couldn't cage Millard. Mar Mullard. Mullard needed to be free. And neither ropes nor the poor legs of Chris Evans could hold him back. I wonder what happened to both of them. Uh, after the parade got canceled, there wasn't much going on. I think it's the same thing. No. Well, we still did the Easter basket, the blessing at the church, and ate special pretzels. We didn't bother to bless those profane pretzels. Oh my god, these flowers are fake as hell. Mother deserves a better memorial. Plastic flowers are like super depressing for some reason. Dead flowers are less depressing than plastic ones. It's locked. What the hell? This is a fire hazard. No, seriously. Is this... Uh, is this thing is clearly... No, seriously. Is this thing is clearly marked as something it is not. Okay. I'm coming back for you, Exodore. And we're gonna have a little chat. With my boot. Worst exit. Easily. Oh my god! Mollard! What have they done to you? <laughs> Mollard P. Blooming Grow. One of my absolute favorite things when I was a kid. Proudest of the spring parade floats. Dude, this is a tomb. This is Mollard's tomb. Mollard, dear dead Mollard. You were my favorite anything when I was a kid. I ran to the spring parade to see you. You were like a big, beaky dinosaur. Mollard, you're still amazing forever. Oh, Mollard. Probably left here by the Possum Springs Chamber of Commerce. Forgotten. But I found you. And I know you're here. And still a springtime terror. I'll keep you a secret, Mollard. But I'll visit. Baby rats? Mollard, you're pregnant! It's one of those god things. Like when you have a baby because god. Holy crap, you're the cutest vermin. Who's the best vermin? You are. You look so hungry. Is that why you're um, not doing anything? I'll come back with food. Don't die. Oh. Music to somebody's ears. <laughs> and those were the baby rats. Miracle rats, my bad. Time for pretzel stealth. Oh, that makes sense. Good call, Lozo. I want to get up there, though, really quick. Talk to that person. And also got the rat girl up to... Yeah, I'm trying to get to the rat girl, I guess. I just got a triple jump. Drawing something? Yeah, drawing the bad guy for a movie. Have you, like, ever filmed ever anything? I made a little movie with my phone. And I parodied some movie programs. That's real bad. Mm, I play bass real bad. How long have you been playing? Eh, enough to be real, real bad. Alright, I'm off. See ya. Later. You see someone messed up in the mural in the tunnel? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty funny. I mean, very weird and bad. Any idea who did it? Nope. Lots of suspects, though. Yeah, whole town full of suspects.
No, oh, oh. That makes it easier. Freaking pigeons. Uh, so how are you finding... How are you finding Night in the Woods? Uh, it's really good. I'm really enjoying it. Just like you said I would. Fun... Oh. Uh... I like the story. It goes in a lot of places I never would have expected it to. Like... The murder? I... I don't know. Well, I guess it was kind of hinted at. But the whole limb in the very beginning. I like the dynamic with the friends. Learning more about B. Back to speaking about B. Well, let's get the present first. They can't make me go to war. I'll go underground. I'll join some sort of group that's against war and stuff. We'll blow up war stuff and sabotage other war stuff. They'll live in the shadows for decades. No address. Always on the run. Living in a trailer in the desert. It'll be awesome. Damn. I can't believe they just leave the band stuff in there. What if someone steals it? What if the building falls down? I should start talking great I should start taking Greg's base home. Just, you know, in case. What are your favorite characters so far? Uh I really like May. I really like B a lot. Um, who else is pretty good? Salmers is pretty good with the little short little haikus she's always working on. Angus is alright. Greg seems pretty. He seems like, uh, makes me think of a guy. He, oh, okay. So, Loza, you're. Uh, quick question. You're familiar with the Boondocks, right? Huey and Riley Freeman. Uncle Ruckus, no relation. So, I said I could, like, take you up to the park. You did indeed. You ready to go? Nah. Yep, okay. <clears throat> the animated show? Yes, correct, correct. Based on the uh, the comic strips by Aaron McGregor. But anyways, okay, so... In the third season of The Boondocks... Talks about black culture. Oh, yeah. Yep. That's that's it. Um, in, the third, in the final season of The Boondocks, there's an episode where... Uh, Briley hangs out with this kid and he's like... Man, you talked about him? Y'all don't mess with nobody, man. Y'all bitches. I'm gonna be your friend. We're gonna run this neighborhood. He's like, that's right, Riley. Let's do things, cause they're bad. I like doing bad things. You're gonna do bad things too. <laughs> he kinda reminds me of Greg. The bad things kid. He's like, man, I can't hang out with you no more. You do too many bad things. Although, and then the other thing I get out of Greg is clerks from um, Kevin Smith. Nothing in the chat, he's like, he did the perfect analogy where I was like, I'm not even supposed to be here today. Just running the shop, leaving whenever he wants to. <laughs> Breaking things, stealing. He'll like Greg and Agnes when you hang out with them. Hey, you never told me why you were feeling down the other day. Do we gotta tell you everything? Nah, nah, just asking is all. Well, ask someone else. Ooh. But yeah, there's there's some. Greg seems as like he's has a, a lot going on in his plate. So when I hang out with him, I'll definitely get to the bottom of why we were breaking lights in the backyard of a of the, of the convenience store. I was gonna say the quick stop <laughs> of the of the. Uh, What is it called? The Snack Falcon? Alright, here, I'll steal the pretzel. Well, I'm getting tired. Good night, all. Alright. <clears throat> Take care. Thanks for hanging out. Keeping the chat safe.
<laughs> you get some sleep. I'll catch you next stream for sure. Um, I bet some rat babies would love a delicious pretzel. Okay, okay, man. You're only gonna get one shot at this. Just gotta freeze when he looks over. Even if you're holding a pretzel. No movement. It's simple psychology. Done this before. You've still got it. Easy, easy, easy. Okay, go. Mission accomplished. Greed. I am the bandit queen. One pretzel is enough for my tiny rat darlings. Okay, I think we... Easiest way to be go back this way and then loop around. But yeah, um, who else is really cool that I've gotten to, that I've become accustomed to seeing? Um, I guess the ant, the, the ant cop, she's pretty cool too. Although it was kind of weird that she didn't help when the freaking hooded guy, figure, woman. Game's pretty cool. Hangs out with bums. Oh, Germ's pretty cool. Oh, bums, that's who he hangs out with. Yeah, he seems like he's kind of just like... Let me watch you guys practice. Like, okay. <laughs> Hasn't done anything yet. He's just like... Okay. Oh, someone stole the statue's head. Vandalism. Okay, now, where were those? The rats were over... No. Oh, they were in the window. The window of the window. Yeah. I like her parents too. May's parents. Just... Dadders and 24-7 mom. Pretty good. Get to learn about them. The granddad seems like he's pretty cool too. Right, my little miracle rats. Time to eat. <laughs> eat my miracles. Eat. There we go. Wow, you're hungry. Very hungry. I guess I'm your mom now. I don't know if I'm ready to be a mom. The only thing I got to do is go to the places. So I will go to the graveyard first. Hey, B. Hey, May. I think I'm going to burn this place down. Oh, cool. And also, maybe it might have consequences. We could take the insurance money. And like, not do this. What if you get caught? I saw a show where they caught someone doing that. 
You're going to burn the place down for me. Oh, cool! But also, maybe I'd go to jail? Nah, you have no motive. No one would suspect. So, work's not going well? Uh. Okay, now I'll actually do it. Please don't actually do it. Okay, fine. Did you want to check out the graveyard? Actually, yeah, let's do it. The graveyard. Time for a cool B story. Foggy. Always got that evening fall fog. The licks between ridges. It's spooky. I don't know. Good spooky. I get really sad because it's not here year round. Let her cigarettes light the way. Guess I should be. Oh, I can jump. Well, there's the statue. Ooh, also spooky. I thought you were, like, actually kind of afraid. I mean, I am, but, like, whatever. So we wait here. Yeah. And the ghost shows up. This isn't dumb. Don't act like this is dumb. Hey, I'm along for the ride. <laughs> know any ghost stories? None off the top of my head. Okay, what's scary? Uh, things are like momentarily screwed right now. And no one in power gives a shit. Or they're actually making it worse. Out of spider profit. Whoa, jeez. I meant like a skeleton or something. Oh, right, sorry. Okay, okay, okay. We'll have a spook off. I say something and you make it spookier. Alright. How about this? Skeleton in your hallway at night. A skeleton. Oh man, that's yep, none touching that one. In the hallway though, you. Hmm, those are both pretty spooky. This one scares me more for some reason. A regular stranger dude in your hallway at night. And he's got a knife. And he's. Ooh, whistling. A knife would be scary, but then you'd think, okay. Take the knife away, defend yourself. He has a weapon, so obviously he can't be that dangerous. If you take the weapon away, what can he do? If he's whispering things, that's like, what the hell are you saying? I think that's scarier. And he's a health insurance industry exec. Okay. He wants to profit off your sickness and fear. What's he whispering? Complicated fine print. E, this isn't fun. And he's a ghost. Thank you. Whispering ghost of, um... Healthcare executive? All the things you're afraid of are boring. The scariest stuff is like a really, really boring. Oh my god, Beatrice. What we're supposed to be doing? Watching a statue or something. This is dumb. Let's go. Okay, so. I'm gonna go visit my mom. She's right down there. Oh, okay. Give me a minute or two, okay? Totally, no problem. Sorry. Sorry about what? About your mom and all. It's okay, it happens. Cool, cool, cool. I'll check out some graves. Alrighty. I took a class on death and dying. When I couldn't get into the dinosaur class back at school, it's like something I actually know about. Cool. I'll meet you back up here then. Let's check out a grave or three. Yeah. 
Dead end. All right. I guess we're doing this. Hey. Hey. Is this? Yep. Oh. Yep. I like their pregnant pauses. Unless it's me. Sometimes I just I can't tell. Graves. Oop, there's one. Rose, age 95 years. Hmm, standard headstone, nothing fancy. Clearly religious. Can't really be sad about this. 95 years, wow. When she was born, the most high tech thing was horses. She had to, like, look out the window to see a horse. And know we have, like, pictures of horses on the internet. Like any horse you can think of. She saw us from horses to entered horses. Decent run. And I got the hiccups. Catherine Fishy. Taken by flu, 14 years old. Aw. Aw, dang. Lived for like 14 years. Not enough time. Probably never said anything anyone could understand. You should get off at least one good sentence in life. You true. Huh! It's this guy. Old man Jenkins? Hey! Evening. Evening? What you up to, bud? I'm looking for a ghost while my friend visits her mom's grave. You? I'm the grave digger groundskeeper. What have you? Can we talk chop for a sec? Dude. Do you dig the graves with the shovel? Do you get spooked out here all by your lonesome? Nah, yeah, I work here. Tends to take the spook out of the place. This job pay well? Eh, yeah, you thinking about digging graves? Depends on the pay. Not much. Oh. I'm a wooden DJ on the side. Frickin' sweet. I will rock you hard. Oh, <laughs> sounds great, my man. Oh, see ya. Good luck finding your ghost. Grave guy. Career idea, grave digger. DJ on the side. Here I am. Dun, dun, and I'll rock you like a hurricane. Okay, so I missed a grave. Oh. Bicycle? Ooh, fancy. This guy was a fancy guy. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna guess. He crashed his bike. He was hit by a bike. He loved his bike. He loved it so hard, he smooched it. All right. Jeez, B. How long does a mom visit take? Big talk, Beatrice. We got places to be. Holy crap, I'm a jerk. All right. Let's see what happens. No, oh, there she is. Hey, uh, how'd it go? Fine. She's still there. Were you worried that... You know, I've been having sinkhole problems in town. Yeah? That's what was wrong with your straight. Anyway, my mom's buried in a pretty low spot. Couldn't afford the hill. So I was worried. Like, you're worried the ground's just gonna, like, cave in? What part of sinkhole is difficult to understand? We're in a graveyard. They shouldn't make... They shouldn't, uh... They shouldn't make these where sinkholes are a problem. Yeah, and they shouldn't build towns that flood. And yet here we are. Okay, you ready? You know, when I was down there... I think I heard music from the top of the hill. And, like, voices. 
Oh, that's uh, spooky. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going up with there. You find out. You coming? Mm, yeah, sure. Okay, here we go. Bet it's those kids. Oh, it is the kids. <clears throat> okay, so I still gotta do my... What was the voice I used for them? They all have the same voice. Kind of like Kong Pao. Who we we travelers? You seek answers among the dead, but they shall give you none. <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, guys. Do you know these kids? <laughs> yeah, we've met. What are y'all doing? Okay, so... We're the keepers of the gate. There's a literal gate you're sitting in front of. Comic book guy from The Simpsons. Yeah, more or less, yeah. <laughs> We've governed who shall pass. And who shall remain. Alright, well... Answer us these questions. Truthfully... What? And you may pass into the realms of the dead. Okay, okay, fine. Whatever. Get on with it. First question. Have you ever done it? 